In this video, we're going to look at exponential graphs. So an exponential graph is whenever you've got y equals k to the power of x, where k is a number, a positive number, so a number that is bigger than zero. Okay. So an example would be something like y equals 5 to the power of x, or y equals 2 to the power of x. Let's actually draw this graph now, y equals 2 to the power of x. So let's choose some values for x. Let's choose minus 3, minus 2, uh, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's start off with the positive ones. So two to the power of x. So if x is equal to four, you get two to the power of four, and two times two times two times two is equal to 16. So that would be 16. Uh, two cubed, two to the power of three, would be two cubed is equal to eight. So whenever x is equal to three, you get two cubed, which is eight. Whenever x is equal to two, you get two squared, which is equal to four, and two to the power of one is equal to two. 2 to the power of 0, any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1, so that's 1. Let's then look at the negative powers. So 2 to the power of x, and x is equal to minus 1, so that's 2 to the minus 1. So remember, minus power, you put 1 over, and then 2 to the power of the positive number, 2 to the 1. 1 over 2 to the 1 would be 1 over 2, so that's equal to a half. Let's do to the power of minus 2, so 2 to the power of minus 2. 2 to the power of minus 2 would be equal to 1 over 2 squared, and 2 squared is 4, so that's 1 quarter. Notice the pattern here, a half, a quarter, you know, whenever you got it, it's equal to 1, you got 2, whenever it's equal to 2, it was equal to 4. Look at the next one, you think it's going to be an eighth. Let's have a look, 2 to the power of a third, or sorry, 2 to the power of minus 3, where well, you're going to put 1 over 2 cubed, and then that's equal to 1 over 8. Um, plotting all the points, you would get something that looks like this, 0, 1, and that goes up like so exponentially. So 0, 1, uh, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 8, 4, 16. And as you go to the uh, negative values for x, it will get closer and closer and closer to 0, but it will never reach 0, because you're always going to have 1 divided by something. So it'll be a very small number. So it looks something like that. And that's the exponential graph where it goes through 0, 1, and then goes up very, very, very steep, very quickly. And on the left-hand side, it gets closer and closer and closer to zero, but never reaches zero. So that's what it would look like if you had y equals two to the power of x. Let's have a look at another one. So let's have a look at what y equals three to the x would be. So again, let's do our table. Minus two, uh, three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, three to the power of four is 81. Three to the power of three is 27. 3 squared is 9, 3 to the 1 is 3, and 3 to the 0 is 1. 3 to the minus 1, well, 3 to the minus 1 would be equal to uh, 1 third. 3 to the minus 2 would be 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 ninth. And 3 to the minus uh, 3 would be 1 over 27. So this one would be, it would go through 0, 1 as well. But notice it's 1, 3, 2, 9. The other one was 1, 2, 2, 4. So this one gets bigger, quicker, so it's steeper. And it goes down quicker towards 0, OK? So that would be the graph for y equals 3 to the x. If I was to draw on the same axes, uh, y equals to, uh, 2 to the x, it wouldn't be as steep. But it, and it would be higher on this side, it would approach zero a bit slower. Okay, that's a quite a bad sketch. But the larger the number, the steeper the graph. Okay, uh, on the on the right hand side, on the left hand side, the sort of the quicker it goes down towards zero. Okay, y equals one to the x. Well, whenever you have your values minus uh, three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four, one to the power of anything is one. So all the answers would be equal to one. So whenever you have a um, one to the power of x, it would just be a straight line graph that goes through, a straight line graph that goes through the point zero, 1, okay? So whenever the exponential number is positive and bigger than, uh, bigger than one, so a value of two and so on, it would look like that. Whenever it's equal to one, it's a flat line. And if you had a decimal number, let's have a look at this, a half. So we'll go for minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. So if uh, 0 0.5 to the power of three, well, it's not 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, that's 0 0.125. Um, a half, 
a half squared would be equal to 0 0.25 a quarter. So that's actually an eighth. Uh, 0 0.5 to the one is a half and 0 0.5 to the zero is equal to one. Let's then look at 0 0.5 to the minus one. So 0 0.5 to the minus one. Let's write it as a half to the minus one. And minus one means the reciprocal, so that's two. Uh, to the power of minus two, so a half to the minus two. That's the reciprocal, so that's gonna be two squared is equal to four. And that will be it. So this time, whenever it's a decimal number, so between zero and one, the graph will look a bit exponential, but the other way around this time. Okay, so it will be very large whenever you've got negative powers. Whenever you've got positive powers, it's gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller whenever you get a number between zero and one. Okay, so let's recap exponential graphs. So an exponential graph is whenever you've got y equals k to the x, so a number to the power of x, where k has got to be bigger than zero. So that's an exponential graph. It will always pass through the coordinate zero, one. So it will always go through zero, one, because any number to the power of zero is one. Um, whenever it is bigger than one, so whenever the number is sort of, for instance, y is equal to four x, or four to the x, something like that, you're gonna find that it goes up like this and it gets very big very quickly, passing through zero, one. Whenever k is equal to one, so y equals one to the x, it would just be a flat line going through zero, one. Okay, and whenever it's a decimal number, the graph is the other way around, okay? So it goes through zero, one again, but comes down exponentially like so, okay? And that's it, so that's what exponential graphs are.